What's going on everyone? It's me James here from Triple Threat FIFA and today I'm making an Arsenal 2014-2015 prediction team video. But before I get started, if you guys want some cheap ultimate team coins, make sure to check out UT Coin Traders in the link below for fast and reliable source. So um, first up is goalies and uh, now I've chosen Wojciech Chesney um, because you know he's obviously going to be there, there's no reason why he would transfer. And uh, either Casillas or Ospina, um, they're both linked. Uh, I don't personally. I think uh, Ospina will go because it, it's you know in the papers or the new, yeah the newspapers it's been saying that uh, if Ospina impresses for Colombia at the World Cup, then uh, Arsenal will go for him. And then you know there's Casillas, but I just I really don't see him going um, to to. Um, to, to Arsenal. I really don't. So uh, that's goalies. Next we have starting defenders. Uh, Kieran Gibbs is uh, a really good left back in my opinion. Um, definitely going to be starting as long as he doesn't get any injuries. Then we have the, B the BF, the, the BFG, the big friendly giant, primary soccer. Um, really good season. Um, really impressed everyone. And uh, yeah, I mean, he deserves. He deserves to be there. And then his partner in crime, not not partner in crime, but his partner in the central defense is Laurent Koscielny, and uh, he's also in there. And then we have Serge Aurier. Um, he, he's linked with Arsenal as the long-term replacement for Sanya. He's 22 years old, I think, and um, I think he could go, and I think he will go. So uh, here are the reserve defenders: Monreal and Carl Jenkinson. You know, they're both, um, alright, you know, they're both good reserves, and, you know, there's nothing wrong with them. So, I don't see why they would be sold. Next, we have the starting midfielders, um, starting on the right, Carlos Vea. Uh, there's a buyback clause of 3.5 million pounds, I think, and I seriously think Arsenal will take that option and, uh, go ahead and get him back. As long as they work out, you know, the, um... As long as they work out, you know, the contract details, I think he'll go. And then we have Aaron Ramsey. Absolutely amazing. As long as he doesn't get injured, I think, I think you know, he's going to really help Arsenal go to big things. And then we have Mesut Ozil, who I think just needs a long rest over summer. And then, um, you know, he needs to bulk up. And uh, once he does that, you know, I think he'll be fit for the PPL. Um, and then we have Jack Wilshere, um, young English really good um, and I just I just see him you know starting and then we have Kozola on the left um, you know he's pretty solid and uh, you know like I said he's solid he's really good good passer good dribbler and uh, just an all-around beast then we have the reserve midfielders Podolski, Oxlade Chamberlain and Flamini um, there's nothing much to say to these um, there's no Walcott because, you know, he got that ACL injury, I think, and he's, he was out for six months, or he is out for six months, so, um, I haven't gone ahead and included him, you know, just for the fact that he's injured. Uh, you know, Podolski, he's, uh, he's been alright this season, and he's been injured, but then he comes back and, you know, he scores quite, quite a few goals, and then and so does Oxford Chamberlain, he gets a couple, um, you know, he's, yeah, um, he's been quite good down the center of midfield and then Flamini I just don't think he'll go you know because he looks actually pretty good he's not he mean he still is pretty good you know even in his 30s uh, he's reliable and uh, he's a good backup then we have the starting striker which is Olivier Giroud the man from France and uh, I just think he'll start you know because I mean um, you know the next player you'll see uh, you'll kind of understand why, but, you know, I think Giroud is, he's, he's a solid player. It's just, you know, he needs a backup. He needs rest time, you know, and he doesn't get that if he's the only striker on the team. Yes, there's Sonogo. Yes, there's Bender, but, you know, he, they barely played Bender, and Sonogo only really came in at the last part of the season, so, you know, I just, I you know, just give him a backup and you know who do really good and uh, then we have Lorenzo Insigne um, I think his agent or him came out and said he's really honored 
that, you know, Arsenal even looking at him, and, you know, reports say that if he has a good, good World Cup, uh, along with Ospina, the goalie, that uh, Arsenal will try and sign him. And I think, I think he'll go, you know, I certainly think he will. Because, you know, what's, Arsenal are a really good team, and just, I, I just think they'll, he'll go. So, um, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you Gunas fans enjoyed. I'm sorry if I'm really quiet, but it is quite late. And, it, and, um, <laughs> Yeah, it is, it is quite late, so uh, I know I'm quite tired, but uh, I'm going to make sure to get this out on Saturday, if not Sunday morning. Um, so thank you guys for watching, hopefully you guys enjoyed, leave a like if you have, comment what team you want next, I think I'm going to do Liverpool soon, uh, Arsenal player predictions are up Sunday, part 2, so get ready for that you gooners, and uh, have a good day guys. Also, we are on summer vacation, so uh, we've just been taking a break, that's why we haven't uploaded, so uh, peace out guys. Have a good day.